For this episode I will show you how to place the body for milling holes on the sides, on the lower side and so on. This is a problem that I encountered a lot when I first started using FreeCut for my CNC and it was really frustrating. There were a lot of moments where I simply couldn't place the object as I wanted. So today I'll show you how to easily do it. I don't know if it's the, let's say, correct solution but it's something that absolutely always works and will work no matter what. For this I've created two bodies to give you an example of what I mean. I do a lot of woodworking and here let's say it's a tenon and mortise joint. You can see if I move this away, you can see I have to make a hole in this body. So I select the body, go to the path workbench, create a job with this body of course. Select the tool, let's say, uh, I don't know, three, it's a one eighth of an inch end mill. Set the horizontal vertical speed, the spindle speed, remove the default tool. Let's hide the other body. I just want to make this pocket. And now I'll hide the body, go to the job, and show the model. If I double click on the job, you will see that the pocket that I want to mill is on the side of my body. Well, I can go to setup, try to actually set the axis, set the axis. I've tried this a lot of times. It's pretty confusing. I really haven't been able to understand how it works. Maybe it has some logic, but not for me. So I'll show you how I do it. I'll just close the job. Go, make sure on the bottom right corner that I'm positioned exactly as my CNC is. X axis this way, Y axis this way, and of course on the vertical the Z axis. I select the model, go to edit, placement. I click on apply incremental changes. And usually I use the center of mass. If I don't use the center of mass, the rotation will be around the origin, which sometimes leads to the object being placed very, very far away from my screen. On the rotation, I use Euler angles. It's much easier to understand if you know the basic geometry. And I want to rotate my object so I can mill this pocket. This means that this pocket has to be facing upwards. So, I have to rotate it around the x-axis. But actually it turned downwards, so probably minus 90 will do the trick. I click on apply, click on ok, and now everything looks as it should. The x-axis of the CNC, the y-axis and the z on the vertical, of course. But if I double click the job, you can actually see that my object is kind of moved away from the stock. What I have to do is go to setup and click on refresh. Now the bounding box is correctly placed, but now I can see the origin is somewhere random. Well, I can click on the corner of my bounding box and click on set origin. But now, because my object is not square in this corner, I can see that the bounding box is actually larger than my object, so this will lead to some unexpected behavior. That's why I always try to not extend the X, Y, Z, especially on the first part. You see now my origin was actually off the object, so after updating the extension on the X, Y, and Z, I can now click on the corner of my stock click on set origin and now the object is placed exactly as I want to. If I want to set the CNC on the top face of my object then I have to also update the extensions on the other end so it really matches my object. The bounding box matches my object and then click on the upper corner and click on set origin. Now this will be my zero and if I have to pocket this hole here I will go to minus 
10 I believe it's 10 millimeters deep. Now I click OK and I can proceed making my pocket, selecting the bottom face, click on the pocket tool, select offset, a 50% step over should do it. And as you can see, I now have a pocket correctly placed. If I go to the job again and actually place the origin on the bottom corner, as I usually do. Now everything looks weird, but after I click OK, it recomputes the pocket. And you can see that the pocket is correctly placed 10 centimeters above the origin and so on. The most important thing that you have to remember here is after rotating, placing and so on of the model, you have to go to job, go to setup tab, click on refresh so the extended bounding box updates accordingly and then make sure the origin is placed correctly. By default the extensions on the X, Y and Z are one millimeter and if you place the origin on the corner of your bounding box it will actually be offset by one millimeter. So you have to first change the extensions to zero and now your stock, the one defined by these lines, is exactly the size of your model, of your body. Click on the corner of the bounding box and click on set origin. Now I have perfectly placed my object. Now let's say I want to profile it after cutting this pocket. Well, I'll have to delete this operation after exporting the file of course. Go to the model again, go to edit, placement and I don't really need it rotated. I reset the rotation, I clicked on apply and now you can see it's placed correctly so I can make the outline the rounded corner. But I have to remember double click the job, go to setup you can see the bounding box is way off, the origin is also off, so I click on refresh so the bounding box updates, I click on the corner, click on set origin, and now I can do my profile. So now I can just select my job, go to profile, click on apply, and I will have a profile of this shape with a rounded corner. Of course this means two placements on the CSC table, you have to take care to place it correctly, you have to set the origin always accordingly to what you've set on the machine and so on, but this is another discussion and we won't cover it today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.